Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial in camera and lens repair and this time I will work with my my um, Canon FD 100mm 2.8 and it's this the uh, super spectral coating version and uh, it has actually has a problem with the stiff breech lock ring uh, which um, when you put it on a camera or the uh, lens cap uh, it should I mean it should automatically move some uh, angles but it I mean it not really happen I mean it you have to help it a little because of old grease uh, sticky grease or something so it's a bit it's a bit uh, sticky should move much uh, more rapidly <coughs> to actually uh, I mean lock in the cap or the camera so what can we do about that well well we just need some tools that I will quickly describe some JIS screwdrivers which is uh, mandatory when working with those lenses a tweezer is also very handy, a pointy, very pointy uh, dentist tool, two separate uh, brushes, this is a makeup brush to actually uh, apply the um, Japan Hobby tool, uh, grade 10 grease, which is a very soft we need some cotton buds, which can be a very handy, and we need some cleaning fluid, which is isopropyl alcohol 99%. So let's go into it. Um, clay off my table here. Now, <clears throat> to, to actually fix this is, well, in a way, quite easy. Um, we just unlock the uh, bridge log ring. And we we set the aperture ring to 22 here, and that's important to so simply move this over to there, 22. And then the auto aperture lever, uh, which is this one here, which I also move all the way up here so it's locked in that position so that's the starting it will make it easier uh, when disassemble the um, the mount so now then we unscrew three screws around here there's one here there is one down here which we can fully expose if we press down this uh, little spring and the bridge ring will move all the way over to here so it's almost um, free uh, to see the screws so there's one here and there's one here and there now the top of the the lens uh, when looking into the camera is that point here there's no function there's no pressing uh, and this lever also there is no pressure and even this there's no nothing to press in but this is the um, the very top of the lens when putting it on and it's actually in line with the index mark uh, when the lens is set to infinity or something. Now, we take a JIS screwdriver. This is this one is from Moody Tool, which I buy at uh, ifixit.com. And no, I'm not sponsored by any company. <laughs> so unscrew it shouldn't be that big problem 
I don't think they use so much uh, thread lock on the screws. Maybe in some blenders, but uh, not in this one. So, out with that. You see, <coughs> the, um, we can set the lens back to what it is in, in lock position, so it cannot move at all. And then we can just pull off the the uh, the mount here and gently uh, wiggle it a little, little because there is one there is a pin here and there is a fork here which is for the the actual um, I will go closer into the aperture sooner when I take out the uh, lens assembly um, because there are some notes about it but this is how it looks inside and just to get things in correct place I will just put this uh, all the way up to here because something was not clear and so it is now the point is that the um, the ring in here was just come a bit over uh, the point here so you can see so if you have if you have a problem with the a working uh, aperture it could be that this one has been over there and then you cannot uh, draw it back into correct precision so we just do this and move it a little further and simply move this uh, oh, part here and then we can just put it back again so there it is now we are back on track now get these things apart just a quick note this tiny pin with its spring um, you need to take care of just so you know it <clears throat> now let's get back to this one the bridge ring uh, mount to actually get this uh, to work again I would think uh, because I just make some notes about it so we just can uh, unlock the uh, the bridge ring so it will be free of this part here because this one will snap back here when the, and actually when you put the when you put the lens on the camera or the lens cap the bridge ring should just move freely and help it uh, to easier uh, lock the lens on the camera but so now it's actually free uh, and I can move it <coughs> but uh, to actually get it off I need to unscrew those two screws um, and get this pin off oh. Second. my notes here <coughs> which just fall on the ground <laughs> on the floor um, I make some quick note the brief log ring which is this one um, has to turn almost three turns clockwise looking from the back um, and it will come off at which we look here uh, that's 12 so if we look over here it will come off uh, in between the two screws that we will see sooner and um, it's quite easy to get it off but uh, if you do not make, take notes or make some scratch somewhere uh, it could be Hmm, well a little challenge now so we simply take off the 
the two screws here and remember how it sits in the position so when it's in lock position it will be up here and not on the other side <laughs> so we can just unlock it again to make it easier to actually unscrew this pin tiny screws and this one comes out here so there and then we can take this pin out it can only sit in one position so now we go back to the lock position which is here so the the, the red dot here uh, is in line with the uh, with the uh, top of the lens I mean <laughs> it's where you put the lens on the camera or the the cap here so now I can simply unscrew it counterclockwise it will say from here and then almost three turns so let's see that was one two and I know it where it will come off but the red dot is here and we will end up somewhere here um, when it comes off and here it is so as you can see it come off between the two screws here uh, so it will be quite easy uh, maybe it's possible to to put it on um, in other position I don't know but let's see how it is or is it only possible in one way maybe it could be some way sometimes there are more thread uh, actually threads but uh, as we can see here it is actually not possible to put it on in a wrong way it might be but it's easier when you have a lock position I mean when the thread is coming off one two and almost three there it is so but as you can see here I mean the the thread uh, is actually really dirty both on the bridge ring and on the mount um, so we need to do some cleaning a point is do not unscrew this screw this screw or this screw because there is actually you maybe can see it <coughs> in here all the way around there are some small tiny yeah tiny really tiny steel balls bearing and um, well if it's not necessary you should not get into that because well <laughs> it will take some time to get all this deal the their beer ball bearing into this uh, ring here so yeah we'll just do some cleaning and uh, with the isopropyl alcohol <coughs> and this is the same way uh, to do with the uh, bridge lock um, lenses because it's made the almost same way so it will um, be the same if we work on on um, other bridge lock ring uh, lenses 
it will be the same way it works except for the newer version uh, that is made different so we will just do some cleaning okay yeah well <coughs> just let it stay there for a little and then we can just uh, do the other the mount and for that I will simply do the use a cotton bud to not fully um, put this uh, the mount into a because then all the steel ball have to yeah maybe um, clean the with the compressed air uh, do not have it right here so one can actually use uh, some cotton buds and to actually clean it out and then use some paper to actually wipe away the the rest of the of the grease whatever it is <coughs> it's really old <laughs> so it's, it doesn't really do anything anymore so now it looks okay and it's also just a test to see how good will it be or what kind of grease I will use for this uh, so and because I didn't have any more lighter fluid to actually clean the threads so I will just use um, yeah isopropyl alcohol so now we can just take this up and uh, do some cleaning with the curtain butts here. Sometimes it's also better to do it in that way because we can wipe away the old grease. Oh, now it looks much better without grease. <laughs> so, so now it looks really better compared to what it was. So, and now, actually, um, I will simply uh, add some very tiny amount of grease. Let's see how it actually will fit. Uh, I mean, how it will go if I put it on without any grease. Let's see. It will. The red dot is here. The two screws are here, so I it should be something like there. Oh, <laughs> come on. So, there it is. Fight the, the thread. Of course, it should be the other way. And it will go into lock position uh, when it's um, in correct place. So there it is. Cannot go any further. Um, but I will think we need some tiny amount of grease. So I will simply just add a little. And it could actually be with a um, 
where do I have this? <coughs> well, you can just use a cotton bud here and simply add a little. It shouldn't be that much. Instead of using a a um, bre uh, yeah a brush, we can simply just add it on here on the inside of the bridge locker ring and it should be all fine it doesn't have to be much we'll just spread it around so there It's not much, I know, but uh, it shouldn't be much at all. But let's see how good it will go. The red dot, the two screws, and we will hit it there. Find the thread. And oh. There and simply screw it on. So there we are. It feels better, much better. It's more alive. So I would guess uh, it's enough with the with the grease, and then I can simply. Uh, unlock it here, move the ring over to something here and uh, put in the tiny part, the T-shape uh, part here. There it is. And find the two holes here. It should be and screw it in and now the other screw so tighten it gently and so it looks really good so let's see how it will go if I put my cap here and uh, put the cap on here and of course you do not this one has to could move freely so we just do this this put it on and you can see it will it will simply go into lock position quite easy because there is tension on the spring in here so it's quite good so now it can go like this I can just push on it and it will lock into position so that's really good so this is the way it should work <clears throat> as you can see so now I can simply just put it back into my uh, lens buddy and say that's all fine and this pin here goes into the fork and uh, remember the tiny little pin here and it goes into this tiny hole here you see the other three holes there for the screws um, so it has to sit like something here so one can actually put it on remember not to push too much on the uh, aperture ring here because there are two small ball bearings in here so if you draw this part it could probably well <clears throat> I know it's locked into position here but uh, it could still uh, be that 
the small steel, steel ball simply jump out. So the bridge lock mount here, simply put it on here and then um, catch the hole for the little pin and catch the hole for the uh, screws. Um, one can actually push down here on the lock so it will um, move hopefully into position so there it is so when you put on the um, the, the mount here one have to move it a little so it will fall into position uh, also with the little uh, pin which is over here compared to the intake mark so now I can actually just put in my three screws and say that's all fine and simply unlock the uh, the uh, yeah <laughs> How to aperture um, lever, which will fall back into position and open the aperture. So the, it works actually all fine. So there, and then the the last screw. Hmm. So. Now, wow, it, it works as it should. You can see it will move if I go up to almost uh, lock the, the bridge lock. It will simply snap back if I put my lens cap here. So this is how it should work. Maybe it's the wrong grease, I don't know, uh, but this is just a test to see Okay, the uh, grade 10 works actually pretty good. So um, that's was the that was actually that. So hope you can use the info uh, about the yeah if you if your lens also have a tight uh, or not really working bridge lock ring. So this is a way you could do it. So that's all. Bye-bye.